Hello, hello, good day, and welcome to a mid-year check-in and sync-up. So why mid-year check-in and sync-up? I've never done this before, but I think given what I had laid out for 2024, and this is like sort of like the perfect time, I finish Pocket Base at the end of June, first half of the year, it sort of makes sense to go, hey, what should I do next? Let's kind of review where we started and where we are, and then let's see what I've decided to do going forward. We started 2024 and we said, hey, we're going to do all these things, right? We're going to look at NATS because the user requested looking at NATS TLS. Um, Go package um, for NATS. There's this new microservice thing. I, I look at that. Go XIT, Pocket Base, App Smith, um, and it end the data flow thing and then go modules. And then we're gonna leave service mesh because it's very unlikely. So we actually um, did most of this the first half of the year. So we got the NAT stuff completed. Um, I also showed you how to use NAT's microservice. I showed you to use Go ID to create those sortable IDs in your database and why that's important. And then we just finish our pocket base at the end of June 2024. All right. So this leaves us with AppSmith, which I said I like because it allows you to design UIs. And if you're a person like me where you want to create an application, but you're not a UI person, but you still need a UI of some sort, then something like AppSmith um, works well. It's not the only one I've played with, but it's one of the most recent that I like. And then I mentioned that our data flow is something that um, I've always been interested in. And so when it comes to Go specific things, besides Go module and workspaces, there are other things that's been introduced in the language that I think would be nice to take a look at. So this means that oh, these are the things we have left for the second half of 2024. But there are a bunch of other things that I've been wanting to do. So let's take a look at UI creation. So I said there's AppSmith, but there are many other tools that can be used to, to do this. And so there's this other thing called Open Forms that I recently found, and it looks really interesting. And, and being able to have options is not a terrible idea. Um, there are other ways that you can create UIs, which I've been doing, and I actually did for the pocket-based stuff. So those e-commerce um, form that I created for pocket-based, I actually created those using AI, text to UI. Basically, I typed text into a, uh, AI and I said create a form for me that I, I does this or have this and blah 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 and so that's how I created those forms so I like to be able to show you that so maybe for some of you creating forms from text using AI might be better or faster or or would you prefer over using something like AppSmit or OpenForm where you have to actually design the form but those also give you options and maybe you might use both you might use AI to start with and then complete your application with AppSmith or OpenForm. So you never know. Um, using AI to create a UI from text is just the surface of it. It's like really just scratching the surface of it. There's a lot more you can do with the AI stuff. Like you can do text applications. I've been playing around with that. Um, I've been using AI as code assistant. I would like to show you that. Plus we're using it to do things like edit um, and summarize and review. Um, documents and document search. Like, there's so many other things you can do. I've been doing this with these what is called large language models, and I've been running these locally. Um, some I use online, but a lot of it, majority of it is what I do locally on my computer. Um, when it comes to doing other things that are not Go specific, we looked at like pocket base, but pocket base was written in Go, but that's not why we cover it. It's because it's really a backend as a service that we wanted something simple to be able to help us write our backend. This is only scratching the surface. Um, I have solar installed. I have an EV. So I want to talk about those things. What has my experience been using solar and what's the experience been using EV? Again, not as a way of trying to convert anyone, but just putting information out there so that other people can have this information. Just like when I was researching solar and EV, um, there were people who um, went through this process and I use their information, but also I want to give my experience. So that's some other things that I would like to cover. So I think they're essentially these 
two broad areas of things. They're the goal specific things that we can con- that we will continue to cover in Go on the Run. And then there's all this other stuff that's not even related to Go, right? The tools and the AIs and data flow and all this other stuff, techie stuff. I think the big takeaway is that there's these two big categories of things. So going forward, you're going to see me trying to um, post videos along this line. And so we'll have our go on the run stuff. And then we'll just have another channel where I'm going to post um, all this other stuff. And right now I'm just going to call it just stuff, but the name might change. I don't even know if that's available. But I did have a playlist for a while that's called just stuff where I was posting all kinds of silly stuff. And um, that was supposed to be the catch all for anything outside of language specific stuff. If you're interested in all the other stuff I'm going to be talking about, then I'll encourage you once I create a channel, I'll let you know and I'll encourage you to go subscribe over there so you can see all the other stuff I'm going to post. So the long and short is expect to see videos on these two things. Of course, if you're subscribed to both, you'll see the videos. If you only subscribe to, you know, going to run, for example, you only see those goal related stuff. If you just subscribe to just stuff, well, then that's all you're going to see. Um, but more to come, but I at least want to give you a heads up on where things are going. And um, I want to thank all of you for your support so far and sticking with the channel. Really, really appreciate it. All right. Take care and see you soon in the next video, wherever that lands. Thank you.